Hello and welcome to Presbyterian Polity for Donegal Presbytery for the spring of 2019. I'm pleased to welcome and in some ways welcome you back to this class as we relaunch this now that I have sorted out a few technical difficulties. I'm looking forward to this time. I want to take this video as kind of a course welcome introduce myself a little bit, tell you a little bit about what the website uh, looks like, and tell you a little bit about this environment. My name is Michael Wilson. I serve as the stated clerk of the Presbytery of Donegal, and in that capacity with the other elite, uh, elected and also employed leaders of the Presbytery are charged with helping this Presbytery uh, support its congregations, empower its leaders, and do those things better, which we do together. Um, for, in terms of deployed leadership, Aaron Cox Holmes, who's the executive presser, and I as the stated clerk are the ones who spend the most time with congregations and help them to engage issues of ministry and leadership in this rapidly changing environment. I'm particularly tasked with helping our pastors, our clerks of session, and our sessions deal with issues of interpretation for the Book of Order and the Book of Confessions and understanding how to engage our constitution and our polity in ways that help them with their ministry and mission. Uh, it certainly is a rapidly changing uh, context and in many ways actually our polity has shifted significantly over the past several years and created a lot of opportunities for us as Presbyterians to be creative and generative in our ministry and mission. I'm looking forward to this time with you all uh, digitally and also face to face. This is being recorded in my office here at the offices of the Presbyterian of Donegal, which are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You are welcome to stop by. I'm also available via email and cell phone or text if there's times as you're navigating this class or encountering the issues of this class that you want to meet I, either uh, virtually or in person to talk through things and I would I would look forward to that with you. Um, I spent, uh, I was ordained actually in 1996, spent four and a half years as an associate pastor and then spent 15 years as the pastor of the Chestnut Level Congregation in Southern Lancaster County. Along the way, I got involved in the work of the Presbytery and served as the moderator of this Presbytery and in other leadership positions and then became the stated clerk of this Presbytery just over three years ago, where um, I really cherish the time that I get to spend um, on uh, what are often challenging and certainly never boring um, uh, opportunities and issues that face our leaders and our congregations. I also teach part-time at Lancaster Theological Seminary and am working on a PhD at the Vrij Universiteit in Amsterdam where I travel annually at least to um, engage my supervisors, but a lot of that of course is done remotely. My PhD is around um, actually issues of decision-making in the reform tradition and how that can be creative and generative both for those involved and also for the outcome of those decisions. Um, and looks at the polity that helps that to happen in ways that um, are good for our present and our future. And so this is of uh, th these kinds of issues are of, I think, personal and professional interest to me, and I, I think about them a lot. There will be 11 sections to this class. We're going to structure it so that you can move through them um, at your own pace, and I would encourage you to do that. There is more material here than I think that you will be able to um, engage in the time that we've allotted for this. Uh, it will not surprise you that Presbyterians uh, tend towards writing things down. So there's a lot of written material around um, issues of polity and ministry. And I'll provide as much of that or links to web addresses where there's more information. If you don't have time to engage it now, I would encourage you to download that and save that for future ministry and mission. Um, there's a significant amount of work to this class. Our goal is that you be fully prepared to um, moderate a session and to understand and interpret our polity to other leaders because you'll be the primary person who's doing that in congregations in some cases, or we want you to be prepared to do that. And um, 
so you can go at it at your own pace, but you can also reach out to me if you've got questions about the pacing or the amount of work. One of the keys to this is class interaction, and the more that we're able to talk um, virtually with one another, I think the more engaging these, um, these issues are, and I encourage you to do that. And I look forward to this time and getting to know you better and being able to support you as you grow in your ministry and leadership. I'll be praying for you. Thank you for engaging this. God bless you as you do this.